Good morning. I forgot to park this car in the garage last night. In the garage. It's got now. It's got. Let's go. Let's go to the gym Saturday morning today. Got a early start to the day. I am still undecided if this is going to be um, a busy productive day or am I going to lay in bed today and just catch up on a few vlogs, um, you know, cozy up our apartment. Um, I don't have to cook today so we bought Pedro's last night so there's still food for the day so i'm undecided if i'm going to have like a productive productive day i do know that i need to edit because i need a vlog going out tomorrow so that needs to be done but i don't know if i'm going to have a full-on productive productive day or am i just going to lay in bed and catch up on a few vlogs you know i'm in between the two feelings um Either or, I think it's just going to be a good day. But for now, let's go to the gym, get our workout in for the morning, and then come back home and spend the rest of the morning with the family, um, have some breakfast, and then some coffee again. Good morning. If you're new to my channel, my name is Meryl Lee Roach, and I do lifestyle content, my lifestyle content, and we are back with a brand new video. Let's go and get a workout in for the day. From the gym I am literally only having eggs three eggs because it is a so hunger gym was really good I'm happy I went it was good I did a 5k which felt really really good I just did my little to-do list for the day so on the agenda was going to the gym and then breakfast and then um, I said shower and then do Zekeri's hair, but I do think I'm going to do his hair before I take a shower. Um, so in last week's video, I think um, I took Zekeri to get his hair done and um, we did dreads for him and I absolutely don't like it at all. I don't like how it looks. I don't like how it feels, so I am going to redo his hair. Luckily, it was just a week ago, so his hair is not locked at all. So I'm going to redo his hair, um, and then I'm going to take a shower, and then um, I need to go to the shops as well today, and then I'll come home and then clean up our apartment a little bit. And then um, there are a few shots that I need to um, get in for last week's video that I didn't get in last week. Um, and then I need to start editing because like I said, there's a vlog that needs to go out tomorrow. So that is my total to-do list for the day. I already did off gym and then having, having breakfast now. Um, we absolutely have no food in our apartment. So Three years as all that I now can eat. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we do have food of last night left. 
because we got Pedro's last night. So we do have a leftovers left. I got like a family meal last night, but obviously I don't want to eat that now early in the morning. And it is leftovers for later on in the day so that I don't have to make a meal or cook something later on. So at least we will be, we will be sorted out for food today. So I won't be stressing too much about what are we going to eat and I need to fill up our apartment for today. I will only start thinking what we need to eat obviously from tomorrow onwards and then for the week coming next week. So we are going to be doing meal prep as well. So I did go out last week, well in this week and I've been meaning to get these these bowls so I got this size for Zachary for meal prep so I got four of this for him and then I got um, this size for me and Cheesy for our meal prep so I got eight of these um, so that we can meal prep and have good weeks and productive weeks and have meals after work because honestly speaking if I don't prepare meals we tend to buy food at the shops or just not eat good enough or we will like scuttle around man you know at night for something to eat and that's not a nice feeling at all so we are going to be doing meal prep you know, guys know I've been meaning to get those bowls for a very very long time and I finally got them so yeah um, I think this week we are just going to be having reps um, of the week Monday Tuesday and then Wednesday Thursday I don't know I don't know yet what am I going to make um, for the week I'll think about it tomorrow like I said I'll only think about what we should eat for the week I know about the wraps only because Cheesy said that he would like to have some wraps again so I would just need to go out and get some chicken strips for the wraps other than that Wednesday Thursday we don't know we shall think about it tomorrow let me go sit and eat The standing and eating is not a plan, no, not a plan.
we have energy we have energy it is going to be a productive day it is already such a productive morning it is like early early afternoon it's like 33 minutes past 12 and i am busy cleaning out our apartment and it feels so good honestly speaking i have been cleaning out our bathrooms i've been cleaning out our bedroom as well and if you guys know for the ones that have been here since 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 i absolutely love lavender cleaning products like the smell of lavender for me is just everything it's everything right and i am just smelling how clean and fresh our bathroom currently smells and how our bedroom currently smells and i'm busy with the lounge now and then i'm going to finish off in the kitchen and i am just you know having a conversation with god and honestly speaking this has been the first time oh yeah no this has been the first time that i have um cleaned cleaned you know our apartment like not deep cleaned there's a different type of deep clean you guys know me like if you watched my cleaning videos in our old apartment i go on my knees i go in the corners don't have the time you don't have the energy we are working now nine to five so now we're tired we, we we're driving long distance we just we don't have the time to do all those kind of things however we're doing what we can with what we have but today has been honestly the first time like i've thoroughly cleaned a little bit deeper in our apartment and just been talking with God and looking at our apartment and realizing that how blessed we are honestly speaking I in my life in my lifetime I've never stayed in such a beautiful home you know and this week I was just like so sentimental because I even sent you know our agent a message um, and told him like how much I appreciate him and how much I do appreciate the fact that you know he gave us such a beautiful home and how warm this house already feels to us and how much joy you know this home has brought to us already and i sent him that message and honestly speaking um with his reply as well it just i don't know i was just a little bit mushy this weekend and i'm mushy today as well you know i'm in my feelings but it's good feelings um yeah guys and i honestly do feel i honestly do feel like i need to comment down below let me know if you miss it because i miss it i honestly do miss it i don't know if i will always have this energy but if i do have this energy best believe me you i will make cleaning videos you know um i do think going to the gym this morning also gave me a lot of energy which is so good you know so let me know, comment down below if you guys miss my cleaning videos. Like, this apartment is so beautiful, it's so big, it's so amazing to just walk, clean, smell this apartment, you know, and I do think that we need to do cleaning videos in this apartment. Comment down below if you want some cleaning videos. I want some cleaning videos. My soul needs some cleaning videos. I also just want to go into a season, it's like a resting season, we, I, I did say before, I think that it's a resting season it's autumn we're going into um winter here in south africa soon 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 so it's like a quiet resting homey kind of feeling you know so i do i do want to take more care of myself honestly speaking and then my family as well with cooking and doing more homey things you know it's outside time is closed now you know being outdoors um running around driving around going there going there going there um it's inside season so i just want to make the most out of that with you know taking care of our home one which feels like really spiritual to me only because i am and i draw so much closer to god while i'm cleaning because honestly cleanliness is close to godliness you know you know so yeah man i just wanted to say that like i am just having a really good time cleaning out our apartment right now and on the on the note of my son's here i think i'm going to give it another week only because my husband loves it so much you know my husband loves it so much um and i do want to try to give myself time to 
get to like things because I do know that I do struggle with liking things from the word go. So I want to give myself some time to see if I would like it. You know, I also do know how I would like to feel as a mother um, presenting my, my son. You know, how my son um, looks. And I um, take a lot of pride in my one and only human being. You know what I mean? So there's a, there's a certain level of a feeling that I want to feel when I look at my child, when my child is clean and neat and taken care of. And with that hair, I just don't feel it. And I'm going to give it one more week. And if I don't like it in a week, I do know that it is not going to lock in two weeks, right? So if I don't feel it by next week this time, then I am going to change this hair. But for now, I think let me not make a hasty decision and give it some time. But yeah, we have energy. We are here for the energy. Let me finish up cleaning up our apartment and then we need to go to the shops, honestly speaking. We need to go to the shops. I also want to get us some, I want to create like a small little coffee station. Coffee station vibe in the kitchen. And then I want to go see if I can get a mirror for our bedroom, our main bedroom. There is a mirror that I want and I want that mirror for our lounge. I cannot afford it. I cannot afford it. So, and I'm anyway not doing anything to the lounge yet. You know, I'm starting from the back, moving forward. So, I cannot afford it. But there's a mirror that I saw that I've made up my mind. I've been doing, like yesterday, I've been, I went to Deco Fern, I went to Leroy, Mer uh, Leroy Merlin, I went to Mr. Price. There's a mirror there, guys. Yeah, yeah. Went to Mr. Price home and then I went to um, this other shop. It's like a it's like a thrifting shop, I would say, honestly speaking. And I'm going to that shop to go get my mirror because it is so much more inexpensive there than anywhere else. It fits the budget right now. It's it's plain, it's black, it's long, it's beautiful, it's what the kind of vibes that I want to go for for our bedroom currently right now and then I'll just get like a little basket and then a tree to go in there as well or like a plant uh, artificial plant obviously because I am not a plant mom not yet I it will die it will die you know I need to um, grow in age and wisdom and patience I would like to, but for now, um, I just need something beautiful and practical and fitting the budget, honestly speaking. So, we are going to do that as well. Like, I'm clear, I guess it's a good one. You know? Yeah, I guess it's a good one. Did I now not take my glasses? I don't know where. I have to go to the house. I have to go to the I don't know where I must place my glasses. Unless I never went in with it. Same as the place. Same as the garden. Same as the garden. Okay, come on, son. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I said, Drake is done, was me, bro. He just breathed.
Good morning, it's a new day. I just changed out of that very warm, fleecy top. Um, I am about to change these nails. I cleaned a bit yesterday and then this nail popped off. I was anyway about to change these nails. I think I had them on for about a week, a little bit over a week. And as much as I did for like a very short season enjoy a pop of color on my nails, I'm so ready just for something neutral again. So I'm just sitting on the couch quickly. I am going to do my nails. Um, and I do think also I'm going to change my shape as well. I've been going for like square um, for I think about for a while now. Um, sitting on the couch, I am just watching, basically catching up on a few vlogs and I have all my nail thingies right here. So basically, so I'm just going to sit here, do my nails quickly and have it in order because honestly speaking, yeah, no, this can't deal, cannot deal. We are in the car. I finally did my nails. I did my nails and they are so clean and they just make me so happy. Like I'm honestly just so happy right now. So finally did my nails. We are in the car. We're just running a few errands. Just need to get a few things for at home for the week. Um, I have a little list that I set up. So have my little list that I made for the things that I need to go buy at the store. So um, I'm looking for some coffee syrup. I'm, I've been looking for some coffee syrup. I went to Pekempa yesterday and they don't have. I went to Food Lovers Market but it's a little bit too pricey and they only also have vanilla. And we do have vanilla at home as much as it's almost finished. But I was looking for like caramel or like a hazelnut um, coffee syrup. Um, so yeah, on the list is coffee syrup. If I do find some coffee syrups, we need wraps as well when it's finished. Cucumber, some bully beef for the week, some broccoli, baby carrots, garlic, green peppers, um, cup of soup, cheese, apples, bananas, yogurt, ice, and then... This is optional, some caramel, a muffin pack, and then sell some almonds as well. I was thinking Can I of... Can see the menu, Mommy? I was thinking of... Um, I got weed. I was thinking of making like a dessert, but just like cupcakes with some caramel on and then some almonds on top. But cupcakes. I, cupcakes, I made goodness. chocolate mousse last week, you know, so I want to make like... Um, dessert every second Sunday because like every Sunday it's a lot you know and last week's um, chocolate mousse was a lot but the other thing I was thinking about just for a snack because Jessie did say there's a movie that we might watch so no I'm not gonna do that that's a lot that's a lot and I don't think we're going to have time to watch this movie tonight we've been watching movies Friday night Saturday night and I don't think we would be able to watch a movie tonight because I Mommy, have a few other admin think, things that I need to sort can out you tell everyone about the new Kung Fu Panda movie that came out and it was amazing so we it. had a family movie night and we watched the new Kung Fu Panda movie and Zachary absolutely absolutely loves the movie he thinks it's the best thing in the whole entire world. So that was really great. Like his dad surprised him with the movie. He's been talking about the movie for like two months straight. And finally when the movie came out, the movie came out. I can't remember when it came out, but it's like recently. So um, his dad surprised um, him with like a family movie night, which was so good. So yeah, let's go to the shops quickly and then come back home. 
and we then do this all over again. What all over again? Yes. And then come back home, and then also we are going to um, meal prep for the week, and then we need to go out. Oh, I don't have that on. That's the one thing that I do know that and I don't do have on. And video all so, over again. We are going to, I'm not going to cook tonight. I am not going to cook like a meal meal tonight. We're literally just going Can to have some burgers. So I just need to get some, yeah, you may. I just need to get some patties and then I need to get some buns as well. And then just some cheese. Um, that's optional. Let me just say optional. And I'll salad. just find out and then some lettuce. You call it lettuce, baby, not salad. Where is salad? Salad is when you have a bunch of other things inside as well, like tomatoes, cucumber. You know, when you put all those produce inside, then. But oh, this sounds like werewolf. It's a salad. But this is just lettuce. Yeah, so we're just going to have burgers. <coughs> so let's go to the shops quickly. So this is the mirror that we got yesterday. She's cute. She's pretty. I initially wanted like a black one because it was going to go with like, you know, I think like the black lamps here. And then I also changed out our silk pillowcases to black um, just to incorporate a bit of color in our bedroom. And then I have this in black as well and this is like the woody type of vibe and i thought this would go so nice with that just to warm up the bedroom a little bit and then i wanted to go black with the mirror as well um but this is the only one that they had yesterday the day before yesterday they actually had the black one and then i should have taken it but then i was still shopping around thinking okay let me go to other stores see what they have and then i'll make a decision and then yesterday when i made a decision i got to the shop and the black one was sold out already so that's just a little like tip that if you see something you like it please just take it however i'm not too mad oh, about mommy. it's okay baby <laughs> yeah, stay, stay, stay. it's okay stay. it's okay it's okay it's okay but I'm not too mad about this color though. I thought I was going to take this color and just paint it black. But I love this color in our bedroom. So she's just going to stay the way she is. I feel like the worst mommy. mom for this two hours. Yes, baby. Can I have some of those biscuits? No, only later on. You're not hungry. You had something to eat. You had a snack as well. You got ice cream as well. You had two apples. That's a lot. Move away. That move, ice. move, move. I just want to say that ice cream was delicious. Oh, you want to move. Move. You better move. You better move. Anyway, I feel like the worst mom only because my little human being still looks like yesterday. But let me tell you the story, okay? Like, we are just going to vlog in this mirror. <laughs> but let me tell you guys the story. So, um, that is what he had on yesterday. Okay? Okay. And then... He was sitting on our bed and then he fell asleep last night. So when I got to bed, me and him, we just snuggled in and I had full kit slap. And this morning when he woke up, he looked like this and then I did my nails and then it was time to go to the shops. And then I was like, you still look okay, you know? So I'll like shower him later on and put him into new clothes. So we ever saw my son yesterday and then saw my son today again and you see him with the same clothes, that's okay, 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 you know, yeah, day, day, of day, so, he's got a stinky ass, let's go do some a grocery haul for the week, and then prep for today as well, yeah, let's go do that, okay, let me just move my bag, it is actually so hot outside, so I got this sometime in the week when I went to Pip, um, when I got um, our, our bowls, these ones. So I got this at Pip as well. So this is a jug. So I've been meaning ever since we got this jug, né? and we got it for free at KFC. But this jug, even though 
I want to get rid of this jug and then I realized that I can't get rid of this jug because we do everything with this jug. This jug has literally been so beneficial to us in our apartments because this jug comes with us since pebbles, you know? So um, I've been meaning to change out this jug because it's just so red, you know? It's so red, it's so beautiful and perfect. You know, and the size also to do everything around the house. Like, I cook with this jug. We throw water in this jug. Like, this is our kitchen jug. And I do believe everybody has, like, a kitchen jug, right? I wanted to get, like, a glass one. A beautiful, nice, aesthetic one. But then I realized that it's not going to be practical because it's honestly going to be so heavy. So I changed it out to this gray color. So this is not going to be so much of an eyesore. You know, so this one, we're finally getting rid of this one because it's, like, extremely red. And every time... I edit my videos, I'm like, that jug, that red jug, you know, so got a new jug and it was only 18 rand, 17.99 at PayPal. I was supposed to do this long ago, but yeah, you know, let's just get rid of it now. In the dumpin, new jug, okay, that sorted out. And then I got like a sieve as well. Um, I do like to bake now and then and then every time I don't have a sieve and um, I do see the difference in um, my um, <sighs> my flour, you know, if I don't sieve it out. So I just got a sieve as well. This was $29.99 at Cape Home. And then um, I got a cake mold as well. So I got this size. I think this is, uh, what size is this? This is a 20 centimeter. So I'm just starting to, you know, collect them. I'll buy like as I need them. So this was $49.99. Um, so I got this size as well, um, just to make some cake for us at home. I want to bake a cake all the time. And then I realized I don't actually have a mold tin to, um, make a cake with and that always just puts me off and then I never make cake for my little human beings at home so I got this and then I got um, this wooden tray as well so I want to do like a whole coffee station situation here so I thought this wooden tray would just like go nice with the vibes I do have like a white um, like a plate here right now um, but I do want to add this because um, I do feel like this is going to be more aesthetically pleasing, especially when I do have some um, coffee syrups as well. I could not for the life of me find some coffee syrups at all the stores. I looked at Woolies, nothing. I looked at Food Lovers Market, like I said, they do have, but you know, it's it's not worth it. And then, um, and they only have one flavor. And then I looked at Pick and Pay. I got this one, but so long ago at Pick and Pay. And this is the Irish coffee flavor. Why did I take this? I don't know. But yeah, she's there. I don't like her at all. We have this vanilla one. This we got at um, Food Lovers Market. But yeah, it's this this one is really pricey and it's like really sweet as well. Um, and it's vanilla, so I am a little bit duck of the vanilla flavor. Um, I saw some syrups that I'm going to purchase on Take a Lot. Um, I initially wanted to buy 750 mils, but then I realized the 750 mils is actually too big. It's like insane. Um, so I do see that in the exact same brand that I wanted to buy the 750 mils, they actually have 250 mils and then 125 mils as well. And the price on the is so much reasonable. So I will purchase that on take a lot. Um, and then from now on, just get my coffee syrups on take look because it can be fun. Yaka bunkle afraid for coffee syrups. And honestly speaking, no, I, I, I just can't, I, I can't do that. Um, so I'm rather going to do that. And then I just got some um, cloths as well for the kitchen. It, like we um, don't really dry out our dishes, but they are just like decorative cloths. Um, I do have 
a red one now in the kitchen so I just want to like warm up our place a little bit this one I still had um, in the kitchen from December because it was red and Christmassy um, but I'm going to wash her out and then pack her away and then I'm going to just use this in the kitchen just to warm up the kitchen as well and then just for our kitchen to go with the aesthetics in our home because everything is so neutral beige you know um, soft and warm so I just want to get the kitchen also a little bit warm um, we are going to be incorporating a little bit of greenery inside our apartment as well um, yeah but that is topic for another day so I got that at Fifth Home as well and then we needed some extra two-point plugs so I got that as well and then I just got some some ice trays as well. I got the round one, so I got two of these. Um, just because I do feel like I, oh, the admin of buying ice is just working on my nerves. You know, um, when I want to buy ice, it's either the garage is out of out of ice, or I forget to buy ice, or I do see the ice, but then I can't buy the ice now because I still need to go to other stores, and then I'm thinking. Um, the ice is going to melt down in the car and then I tell myself okay you'll buy the ice on your way home but then I never get to buy the ice so I'm just like oh forget about it so I got these ones and they like sock at the bottom so I can just pop out the ice um, which is nice now I don't have to you know do this so I can just pop out the ice so this is going to work so much nicer it was $19.99 at Fifth Home so I just got two of these so that's sorted out and that's literally everything that I got at Pip. Let's do the grocery haul that I got today. So I got these free range um, patties that we are going to be enjoying today. I got that at Hoolies and then I just got some plain yogurt for my smoothies in the morning. Um, I got some chili beef and green pepper flavor as well and then instead of getting the bully beef i um opted to get us some fish um we haven't had fish in a while in this house so i opted for that rather and then i just got some chippies as well that we are going to be enjoying with our burgers today um and then i got the wow okay okay this is a problem maybe it's not a problem so i got the ribs right and then i was supposed to get chicken strips but now i didn't get chicken strips but i feel like it's not a problem because i i feel like it's not a problem why is it not a problem because i have this two pieces of chicken um still left so i can make chicken strips out of this and then we are only going to have one one each and then there is going to be three left of the hake as well so i can make this for one day for tomorrow so we can have chicken wraps tomorrow how many packets of i just took one packet of wraps already we are failing you with the meal prep my dice are okay dice are okay we'll make a plan okay it's fine we'll figure it out as we go i was supposed to get two packets of reps because we were going to have reps on monday and then tuesday as well there's five in the no this is okay because there's five so it's one for me one for cheesy one one so that's tuesday and then one for zachary for Monday and then Tuesday Zachary can have some noodles because I bought noodles yesterday for him and he absolutely loves a noodle night okay no it's fine we are gonna be fine we'll we'll figure it out we'll figure it out as we go I got a small crushed garlic and ginger as well got an energy drink because Ciao! let me tell you let me tell you for today and then at food lovers i got 
some bananas for the week. I got a cucumber as well. I got some carrots as well. This is going to go with um, for the meal for the week as well. I got um, some peppers as well. Got some red peppers there. Um, got lettuce for today. <coughs> got some broccoli as well for meal prep this week. And then, oh, got some apples as well. And then I just got some seedless grapes um, just for a snack for during the week, for a healthy snack. This weekend we have indulged, well not too much in unhealthy snacks. Chesa only came home with two packets of sweeties um, that we had popcorn with. So that's like the only, you know, unhealthy thing that we had. But then I bought some biscuits. Just for tea at night, you know, because egg and cheesy as oma and opa sit up stoop. And he ain't. Make tea. And he makes like the best tea ever. So this is everything that I got. Let me just pack everything away. First, I'm going to start off with, um, let me just see the time. What time is it? Okay. Um, yeah, I think first I'm going to start off with our food for today. And then I am going to... Um, continue with the meal prep for the week. I don't know if I can get it right now. But let's just see if we can get four meals out of the things that I bought here for three people for this week. As I get it right now. Then I am the girl. Okay? Okay. <laughs>
prep for the week said and done so it's monday this is the chicken strips um wraps and then there is my little humans one as well tuesday we're doing some beef chicken strips as well so i just used the patties um for you because remember we had a bit of a pickle so zachary will have noodles if this little human being can have noodles every single night he will absolutely love his best life however we need balance so we need him to you know have some good food as well but this tuesday he'll definitely have some noodles and then this is wednesday and then thursday and then here is zachary's wednesday and then thursday as well friday we will improvise we will either buy something or just make something light and home so this is the whole meal this looks so delicious so it's just some fish we'll put the lemon in when we eat I just made a little bit of a sauce there for the rice just for the rice not to be dry and then we have some broccoli and then we have some carrots as well and then I did say this ones are the beef wraps and then these ones are the chicken wraps as well um we'll just see if we're going to add a little bit of chippies in there i know that it's unhealthy but we do need balance as well in this house you know so if we are extremely hungry we'll add some chippies in here because we do have some chippies left of today but if not then you know, we're just going to have the meals as is so i'm just going to close these ones up because i do believe they're cold already but these ones i'll just leave to cool down and then I'll close them and then we'll pack them inside of the fridge so your girl is finally done coming after me there's no shadow you won't light up mountain you won't climb up coming after me I'm done I am listening to praise and worship gospel music the house is such a vibe my little human being has been showered already his dad gave him a shower so this one is nice and warm and then my main man is in there what are you doing um what are you doing in here what are you doing in here what are you Randy. doing in here say hello to the vlog when was the when was the last time you've been on my vlog i don't think you've been on my vlog recently yeah. Yeah. You know why? So I love you, man. So I just got to know you. I love you. I met you. Get no home, man. And all is like. Child, we won as adults today. Okay. Okay. Did we can school, Mark. My lip is very scratchy, very hard. But um, I, while I was doing my nails, I was watching a vlog and um, one of my ultimate favorite YouTubers, she was also doing meal prep, which I feel like inspired me to do meal prep, um, to actually, actually do it, you know, and not just going out and buying the bowls and buying food and letting our food actually just get wasted in our fridge because then we ultimately just buy something else to eat you know but that's not the point what she said was um one of her favorite youtubers said that you know you need to treat your kitchen especially around about bedtime you need to treat your kitchen and your home like a restaurant thinking that you're doing like the late shift and closing down the kitchen and closing down the restaurant by wiping everything off putting everything in its place and then cleaning out the kitchen as well so my husband has been such a help tonight with um doing the dishes while i have been cooking and then also just sweeping under my feet and then um you know all the plastics and things that i um just threw in the corner the he just took that all out as well so the only things that i have left is literally like my bag that i just put down here my watch that i had on as well so i'm going to take this to the room right now the tripod i'll just let that stay there because i anyway still use it the lounge is already like intact my little human is on the couch so i'll just you know straighten that out and then that's also in order we have a towel there that i will 
take away now i think um his dad used that and then i just have this last bit of pots left that i'm going to wash out now and then these are just all the um lids that i washed out already so this is clean water that i'm going to use to wash everything um out i have i have already like wiped everything down so i am going to do the late shift tonight like think of me doing the late shift tonight and then just rip up everything so that the kitchen is nice and clean and i can go take a shower knowing that our kitchen is clean all our food is packed in the fridge and um we can just have some tea and you know end off the night um although i am going to be sitting in our bed for a while just work on the laptop for a little bit because there's still work that i need to wrap up as well so as much as i'm going to do that i know that everything at home is already sorted out um and the kitchen is clean and it's so very much early it's literally just after six it is dark already because we are in the autumn season going into winter season in south africa so it gets a little bit darker um earlier these days so yeah that's basically what i'm doing right now i have all my candles lit i have a candle right here and it smells so good we actually haven't had any candles in this house yet i do believe this is oh no i think we had candles back in december and then january february and march it was just like such a weird three months honestly speaking but it just feels good to have some candles burning in our apartment it really makes me um feel good and just you know love our home but yeah So while I've been cooking, I've been listening to praise and worship music. Um, but like Maverick City, you know? But constantly I would just like sing the song and those words would just like be in my head constantly. Want ons as nie, waar ons wil wees nie, waar ook nie, waar ons was nie. Sy genade het ons gedra, ons is geroep, vir die tijd soos die. And I 
just put that song on and I listen to it and before I hit record I literally listen to it like twice and I praise and I worship and I praise and I worship and maybe it's for me maybe it's for somebody listening to this watching this video Maar die woorde is been, it has been in my mind. Dat ons is nie waar ons wil wees nie, maar ons is ook nie waar ons was nie. You know, en Jesus se genade het ons gedra. En ons is geroep vir 'n tyd soos die. Because if we have to think about it, that we will never ever exist in a time like now, ever in our whole lives again. Like today, this moment can only exist in this moment. You know, in our last sticky, that ons is geroep for a tijd soos die. There will never ever in our whole entire life be a moment or a time like this in our whole lives ever again. Ever again. You know, so I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is that you need to do in this moment. I don't know what it is that you're feeling in this moment. I don't know what it is that you need to take out of this moment. I don't know what it is that must happen in this moment. Even me, you know, I'm going to have to meditate on it. I'm going to have to go in my word. I'm going to have to pray over it. I'm going to have to sing the song over and over and over and over again because that's my communication with God. I praise and I worship and I sing. It need more is the stem me, but that that's how I communicate with God and that's how I tap into the Holy Spirit. So I'm going to also have to do my work. But honestly speaking, I feel like ons is geroep vir 'n tyd soos die. Ons weet nie wat dit is nie, maar die Here is die Here en die Here is 'n God van openbaring. You know? And hy sal in jou gees openbaar. Hoekom jy op hierdie aarde geplaas is? Want ons is geroep for a tight twisty. If you think about it, that there will never be a you in this time ever again. So you were not a mistake. You were not a mistake. I'm not a mistake. The person watching this video is not a mistake. You were not placed on this earth for nothing. You know? Your purpose is there. Your purpose is now. The fact that you're loving breathing says something and it stands for something. So yeah, kom ek maak klaar. Ek het een pan om te was. Waar ons is nie, waar ons vol wees nie, maar ook nie, waar ons was nie. Sy genade het ons gehoor. Five minutes past ten. How did we get here? Like honestly speaking, how did we get to this point in life? I just journaled down in my journal, which felt so good. Um, like the last section in my journal, um, I just said that, um, where is it now? I love journaling so much because I was journaling and then I was just like writing down all my thoughts, my feelings, emotions and like everything, <laughs> um, for the day, for the weekend, like everything. And I was like, I love journaling so much. I'm so happy and in love with writing down my feelings, my thoughts and my emotions. This is honestly such a good and healthy way of loving right now for me. Um, I love that I am doing this in this moment. I am going to teach Zachary to journal as well. Wow, what a life changing ability it will be um, for me to teach him to write down his feelings, his thoughts and his emotions. And that was just like a little gratitude that I gave like in, um, at the end of, you know, journaling down everything. I literally journaled down one three like back and forth five pages um of 
just things in my head it is that time of the night my hubby just made me some tea and then got some cookies as well um i am going to enjoy that lovely hot cup of tea right now but this is also where i am going to end off this vlog if you have enjoyed this vlog please do not forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video soon